Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to link route uh, between BRF Blue, in this case, uh, at BRF and, and the global routing. In order to do that, we need to configure the link uh, router with this um, following configuration. We have to configure the interface that is going to be part of the blue BRF in this case, this BRF, and the uh, be the other interface that is going to be part of the global routing interface uh, BRF. And also, we need to of of course we need to configure the uh, the BRF blue in this case, and the default BRF or global routing is by default is the is the does not have any configuration. Also, we need to uh, create two static routes. The first static route here is for uh, routing the, from the global routing BRF to the, to the BRF blue in this case. We are using as next hop, the interface 00, zero which is part of the BRF blue. We cannot use the uh, next hop uh ip address we we need to use the we have to use the the interface which belongs to the brf blue as part of the of the the next hop as part of the static route also we need to have an uh, an ip an a static ip route for routing the from the brf blue to the global routing and in this case, we have to add the global parameter at the end in order for the static route to, to, be, to be good. So let me add the configuration to show you. And then let's do a pin from router 2 to router 3 um, and see. Uh, we can do a pin. So if we go to the link router, we can verify the the two static uh, the two routing tables. The one for BRF blue. Here you can see the static route that was added the second static route that was added here and if we go to the blow up routing table you can see here the static route that is that was the first static route for routing between global routing and the brf blue thanks uh, that's it thanks for watching